All right, thank you. Welcome back. In our previous video, we talked about conversion of base 10 to other bases like base 2, base 8, and base 16. Right in this video, we'll be considering how to move from other bases to decimal. For example, moving from binary, binary to decimal, or we are moving from octal to decimal, or we are moving from hexadecimal to decimal. All right, example one. We are giving convert one 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 zero one convert it to decimal. Please, step one is important for us to the best we're gonna do right here is to assign weight starting from the red. The value you gave us is 11101. Don't assign it with starting from the where? Beginning from 0. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Then, having done that, we're going to expand these values by multiplying it by the current base raised to powers that we have assigned. So, we're going to have, to have 1 times the base, this is base 2. So we're going to times 1 times 2 raised to power, which is 4. Plus one times two raised to power three plus one times two raised to power two plus zero times two raised to power one plus one times two raised to power zero. So this one will give us one times sixteen plus one times eight plus one times four plus 0 times 2 plus 1 times 1. Anything raised to power 0 is 1. Don't forget that. Always bear that in mind. Anything raised to power 0 is, is 1. So let's scroll down. So if we scroll down, we'll continue our solving. So we have 1 times 16 will give us 16 plus 1 times 8 will give us 8 plus 1 times 12 will give us 4. 0 times 2 give us 0, then 1 times 1, 1. So 16 plus 8 is 24. 24 plus 4 is 28. 28 plus 1 is 29 in base 10. So the value we have 1, 1, 1, 0, 1 in base 2 will give us 29 in base 10. That's for that. So Another example we have is to convert also from octal to base 10. So let's do example 2. So we are moving from octal, octal to base 10. So example we have is we are converting 352 in base 8 to base 10. So if that is the case, So the first thing we're going to do is to assign weight. So after we assign weight, we're going to expand the value. So 352, assign weight starting from the where? 352, we have 0, 1, 2. So opening the bracket, we have 3 times the base, which is 8. We just want to work 2. So we times by 2. We times by 2 raised to our 2 plus 5 times 8 raised to our 1 plus. 2 times 8 raised to power 0. So this is 3 times 8 raised to power 2 is 64. Plus 5 times 8 plus 2 times 1. Any value raised to power 8 is, is 1. So we have 3 times 24. 64 will give us 192. Plus 5 times 8 is 40. Plus 2 times 1 is 2. So that gives us 2, 3, 4 in base 10. 2, 3, 4 in base 10. And the final example in this case, the final example in this case is <coughs> converting from hexadecimal 
infinitesimal. So assuming we have before us a value of one one three in base sixteen. So convert to base ten. If you recall what we said, we're going to assign weight to the values. So we we'll assign weight. So we're going to do first is to assign weight. So we have one one three zero one two. We we'll have one times sixteen, which is the current base raised to power two plus one times sixteen raised to power one plus three times sixteen raised to power zero. 1 times 16 is 1 times 2, 5, 6. 16 squared is 2, 5, 6. Plus 1 times 16 is power 1 is 16. Plus 3 times 1. And the power 0 is 1. So we have, we have 256 plus 16 plus 3 equal to 275. 10 in base 10. So that's how to convert from that base from other base to base 10. In our subsequent video, looking at how to convert from other bases to other bases. Thank you.